Good morning, guys. Good morning. Happy January 7th, Thursday morning. Um, today I'm going to be doing two readings because I missed my readings yesterday. I apologize. I had a um, doctor's appointment with my mom and we went grocery shopping after that. And, you know, I'm still trying to process this diagnosis that I got the day before yesterday from my doctor. Um, I actually have a phone visit with her today that I want to discuss more of the diagnosis with her with, but, um, I just came home and like crashed out last night. I was so tired and I just couldn't get it together. So here I am though this morning, I did my yoga this morning. I had my coffee, I had my yogurt and, um, I feel revved up and rested, even though I don't look it. I just woke up a little while ago. I said, let me get these readings done before I do anything else. So here I am again, and we're going to start off with the reading for January 6th, which was yesterday. And we're going to pull out our Just for Today daily meditation books from NA program. If you have one also, pull it out, read along with me. And January 6th is How Does It Work? What are the two favorite words of most addicts? I know. Unfortunately, many of us arrive in NA thinking we have all the answers. We have a lot of knowledge about what's wrong with us. But in and of itself, knowledge never helped us stay clean for any length of time. Members who have achieved long-term recovery will be the first to admit that the longer they are here, the most they have to learn. The more they have to learn, I'm sorry. Um, but they do know one thing. By following this 12-step program, they have been able to stay clean. They no longer ask why, they ask how. The value of endless speculation pales in comparison to the experiences of addicts who have found a way to stay clean and live clean. This doesn't mean we don't ask why when it's appropriate. This doesn't mean we don't ask why when it is appropriate. We don't come to NA and stop thinking, but in the beginning, it's often a very good idea to reword our questions. Instead of asking why, we ask how. Um, how do I work this step? How of often should I attend meetings? How do I stay clean? Just for today, I don't have all the answers, but I know where to find the ones that matter. Today, I will ask another addict, how does it work? And this reading is important because <clears throat> a lot of us, especially me, I have that very personality of think I know it all think I'm always right like that's kind of a flaw of mine sometimes and um often more often times than not we don't know everything nobody knows everything and there's always a lesson to be learned and um obviously uh we don't know everything if we're coming to this community to find solace and to learn how to get what they have um so it's always important to Take a step back, close your mouth, open your ears, and listen to uh, lessons that other people can teach us. <clears throat> so with that being said, we're going to move on to... I, I'm like uncomfortable here, guys. Give me one second. I haven't yet learned how to <clears throat> edit and do all that. So I want to keep the editing to a... I was going to say minimal, but I, I want to keep it to a n none of it. I don't want to do any editing. So I want to, I'm just uncomfortable here the way I'm sitting. Um, I did buy this though yesterday. And it's like a stand, a little tripod for your phone that I can set up to do these videos so that I have both my hands. Um, <clears throat> but my mom was upstairs making phone calls this morning and I didn't want to like set things up and tell her she had to go on the other side of the house and close herself in so I came downstairs I'm in her car again <laughs> um but eventually I'll, I'll find my setup eventually I'm just a little uncomfortable right now so bear with me 
So we're going to switch over now to The Language of Letting Go by Melanie Beatty. Thank you, Peter Mann, for putting me onto this book. I absolutely love it. And I really love how it pairs well with the Just for Today um, book. So we're going to go over to January 6th, which once again was yesterday, but I'm making up for yesterday. Um, and it's about relationships. If we are unhappy without a relationship, we'll probably be unhappy with one as well. A relationship doesn't begin our life. A relationship doesn't become our life. A relationship is a continuation of life. Relationships are the blessing and bane of recovery. Relationships are where we take our recovery show on the road. Each day we are faced with the prospect of functioning in several different relationships. Sometimes we choose these relationships, sometimes we don't. The one choice we usually have in our relationships concerns our own behavior. In recovery from codependency, our goal is to behave in ways that demonstrate responsibilities for ourselves. We're learning to acknowledge our power to take care of ourselves in our relationships. We're learning to be intimate with people when possible. Do we need to detach from someone who we've been trying to control? Is there someone we need to talk to even though what we have to say may be uncomfortable? Is there someone we've been avoiding because we're afraid to take care of ourselves with that person? Do we need to make an amend? Is there someone we need to reach out to or show love? Recovery is not done apart from our relationships. Recovery is done by learning to own our power and to take care of ourselves in relationships. So today, I will participate in my relationships to the best of my ability. I will make myself available for closeness and sharing with people I trust. I will ask for what I need and I will give what feels right. I like that reading. It's a nice reminder <clears throat> Uh, to put us back, and I apologize for the people going back and forth. There's um, all kinds of little shops around here and stuff, and it's in the morning, and they're getting their shipments and all of that. So that's what you guys see. Um, anyway, I, I just feel like it's a nice reminder to, to have um, brought to us that there are re important relationships in our life that we do need to maintain. People in our lives need things, just as we do. So as long as we trust that relationship and we trust and value that person in our life, it's a nice reminder to just look out for that today. Do they need something from us? Is there something we can do for someone in our life uh, nice that can maintain that relationship? So I find that the, those were uh, good reminder readings today. And um, I'm just energized today. I'm ready to get the show on the road. Although I have nothing to do today, just my phone call with my doctor later but those are our morning meditations those were for yesterday though i just have to remind you um for january 6th those are the readings for january 6th so i'm going to end this here i'm going to jump back on with our morning meditations for today january 7th and i will see you in a few minutes today is a good day for what a good day thanks guys <laughs>